EU, controlling its borders and gaining control over immigration. What the mainstream media is not reporting is that the UK leadership is running from US imperialism. Uh, the next point it says Britain is waffling at the threat of the coming world war. It says with the Brexit vote, America is on the verge of losing its closest and most important ally, Great Britain. The mainstream media is reporting that Brexit was about economically decoupling from the failing EU, controlling its borders and gaining control over immigration. What the mainstream media is not reporting is that the UK leadership is running from US imperialism. Hey, this is the key point right here. It said what the UK leadership is running from US imperialism. This is key. Go ahead. And the unreported reason that many of the UK elite supported Brexit was because many of the elite do not want to be blown up in a nuclear war for mm -hmm. supporting American imperialism as per the Rothschild Rockefeller banking interest that the American government presently serves. Bring that back up. It says, and the unreported reason. That they said this is the unreported reason because the masses of the people don't really take it to heart or take it to conscience that it's the elite banking families that run this world. They think you're common uh, uh, presidents and senators and people like and congressmen, they actually think that they have the total control. But no, it's the elites. So it's America that is pushing the elite's agenda. That is why the UK is leaving from that because they don't want to be a part of that. So go ahead, read it, keep reading. And the unreported reason that many of the UK elite supported Brexit was because many of the elite do not want to be blown up in a nuclear war for supporting American imperialism as per the Rothschild Rockefeller banking interests that the American government presently serves. Right, so what? The, the, the American interest is towards the, Rockefeller, the, the, the Rothschild's service, man. They're that bitches, man. Plain and simple, okay? But it said what? The UK at least, they don't want to get blown up in the third world's war Cause just because America is back in the Rothschilds, right. you know what I'm saying? They say, no, nah, we don't, we don't, we're not trying to go through all that, man. We're trying to have peace, we're trying to grow our economy, do this and do that. But this is, once again, this is all according to prophecy, man. Right. And this is why they're going to continue to have problems back and forth. This is like you disrespecting your mother. Here it is, a uh, Britain birthed America because uh, uh, Britain is called what the mother country because it birthed America. Now you trying to disrespect your mother. So what? It's only but so long before your mother uh, uh, keep taking that from you and for your mother to start to pop your ass, man. So uh, Great Britain is going to be uh, one of those top countries, you know, along with these other countries that's going to follow suit, you know, to be blowing America a new asshole, man. That's right. You know, so it's only inevitable because as it clearly said, what the um, um, Americans is serving the interests of the Rothschilds, man. You know, so. going, going back into the prophecy, she that bear thee shall be ashamed of thee. Come Talking on. about Great Britain, Come you know. But reading on, it says when the British elite produced the following de declaration, it should have been easy for the world to have predicted Brexit. First the UK leaves the EU, and then it will eventually separate from NATO. If you don't think so, look at much of the UK elite were saying two years ago. Ahead of the Vienna Conference on the Humanitarian Impact of Nuclear Weapons, members, mostly British, have expressed extreme trepidation of the possibility of coming nuclear war. The conference participants stated that urgent action is needed to minimize the risk of a nuclear war. Some of the signatories include. You ain't got yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But so they've been given warning that World War Three can happen because of certain actions and they were trying to prevent certain things from actually coming to pass so that they can try to avoid uh, a World War Three. But this is what the elites want, you know, the elites always support both sides of the war. So this is what they truly want. And they're thinking that they're going to come out on the end as usual on top. And, and part of you got to keep in mind, too, what's a part of the elites agenda to number down the people to 500 million. So them trying to spark another world's war, they thinking that they're going to get closer towards their agenda and to uh, total globalization and their complete uh, one world order, which is not going to happen, man. Okay? You have something? Um, I just want to read a little bit of this conclusion. Okay. It's, uh, it says, the petrodollar is on its last legs as America's hegemony over the world's 
economy is ending. Simply put, on the present course, the dollar could collapse at any point in time. And we know once the dollar collapsed, that's when the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be mandatory, you know, and implemented. You got something else? Yeah, uh, brother quoted it already, but I'll just bring it out. Jeremiah 50? Yeah. Come here. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 50, and um, I'll get to the point. I'll start at 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoice, O ye destroyers of my heritage. Be it says, because ye are grown fat as the heifer at grass and billow as bulls, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness and a dry land and a desert. You know, uh, another quick precept. This is Job chapter 5 verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And that's your new world order. It says, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, mm -hmm. and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. So the Lord is going to uh, disrupt uh, or destroy, interrupt, you know, your new world order. Because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Come, and you know, as the apostles uh, were saying recently, you know, there was a point in time where, you know, the Illuminati was a secret. You know, that the bank and the lease, they were kept a secret. But now everything is out there in the forefront, man. It can't hide anymore. That's why I said unreportedly, mm -hmm. you know, and then they actually mentioned the elite's names. Right. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't hear that like 20 years ago. You wouldn't hear that. But now everything is out in the forefront, man, because the, the Lord has to proclaim these things out there. The Lord has to fully expose these devils for who they are, man. Okay? So I got something right quick. And this, and this proves how 200 million missiles is going to be shot upon a, on, on this land, America, Babylon, the Great. Because all of these countries are turning their back on America, their allies. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 15. It says, And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And we know the third part of men is talking about the uh, the wicked, the son of the son of the wicked. You know, because you have the son of the heavenly Father, which are the Israelites. You got the son of men, which are the other nations, and then you have the wicked, which is these Edomites, because they rule the planet Earth currently. Uh, verse seventeen, it says, it's a lot. Verse sixteen, it says, and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and that equates to two hundred million. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses, whereas the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. And that's talking about those missiles. And I add too, you got simple niggas that are talking about it's not, it don't take. 200 million missiles to destroy America because Russia said they have a Satan bomb that can destroy Texas alone. Right. You idiot. Right. You don't understand the technology. Yeah. First of all, a missile is just to get the uh, the warhead there. The warhead is the actual destruction. Yeah. One ICBM missile can hold up to a number of warheads. The warheads is the one is is what actually destroys the land. So. With those many missiles from all these different countries, can make up 200 million missiles right. or 200 million warheads. Right. But it, of course, it's in the missile. Yeah. You see, so yeah. you got, you know what I mean? That's so like that's like that's like that's like you having a machine gun. Here it is. You have a machine gun. You know, you got shells. You know, with the bullet, but then you got the sluggers, which actually kills you, which goes inside you, but the shell drops. You know, here it is. One bullet <laughs> could kill an individual, but here it is. You got people emptying out clips, or you got people. Getting hit with multiple bullets. Well, that's what's going to happen to America. The Lord's going to send 200 million missiles for all the madness and the destruction and, and, and the atrocities and the rape, robbery, and murder that He pressed upon the nation of Israel, primarily mm -hmm. the elect. You know? Mm -hmm. I've got a quick precept. Uh, it's uh, Jeremiah 50 and 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Mm -hmm. And they shall set themselves in array against her from thence. Which, uh, hey, 
that's what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. They're trying to get away from America because America is destined for destruction the way it's going. You can see it. They don't want no parts of it and they want to put their money elsewhere. They want to go with what they see as the new power, which they believe that is going to be China or Russia, yeah. you know? So they're putting themselves array against America. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Mm. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So when that day actually come, the Lord is giving you the vivid picture of how the Lord is going to have these nations shoot their missiles upon America, man. Mm -hmm. And it said, none shall return in vain, meaning every missile is going to hit its target, Mm -hmm. you know. And uh, verse 10, and Chaldea, meaning what, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. America, and America shall be a spoil. And all that spoil you her shall be satisfied, okay. saith the Lord, man. Right. So they're going to they gonna get there, uh, like how you have Ishmael that hates America yeah. because of what America does to them every day. Oh, yeah. They don't talk about that. You either might be proud of America, but then your government is destroying the Ishmaelites every day through drone strikes. Huh. Right now, guys are getting killed. Right now. Yeah. Literally right now. And even when this video get loaded up, <laughs> right then, yeah, they're yeah. still going to be killing them. Huh. You know, because uh-huh. even in the armies, America go to all of these different countries like Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, wherever they be, you know, and they put hell upon them people. You know, they rape their women, you know, they kill their children. So when all hell breaks loose in this society, when martial law is established and you got these foreign troopers, guess what? The same thing that America did to the other countries, they're going to do on the soils of America. Mm-hmm. You know, it's payback. Come, you know, so, uh, you know, with that, you know, uh, with this Brexit thing and... You know, we see that America's constantly doing the land down. Their allies are starting to move themselves away, you know, uh, from the monetarily and all type of ways, trying to move towards the new, the so-called new superpowers. You know what I'm saying? What these, these devils, these elite bankers are being exposed, you know, in America for uh, actually pushing the agenda of the elites. And, you know, these other nations are, are sick of it, and they're going to be satisfied, <laughs> you know, when America get that ass torn up, man. Uh, you know, so with that, you had any last statements? Yeah, just I'll just read it straight through. Uh, Job 18 and 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the sparks of his fire shall not shine. Uh, uh, so with that, we hope this segment was edifying. You know, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the Bawanas to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there. Doing his work of faith and labor, love, and true sincerity. Shalom, death to America. Death, death to, to America. America.